Blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to the God, glory to the Lord, heavenly King, come for a spirit of truth, glory to the Lord, and 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 the O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, God of our sins, O Master, God of our iniquity, O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for the needs of it. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, look now and ever, and unto the ages of each Son, and our Father, who art in heaven, and hallowed be thy name, and thank you, and come, and it will be done, 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 and it will Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, look down and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and God. Hark, my Lord, and my righteousness, attend to my supplication. Give ear unto my prayer, which I will not from his evil lips. Before thy face let my judgment be poured, let my eyes behold the brightness. Thou hast turned my heart, thou hast visited it in the night. Thou hast tried me by fire, and my righteousness is not found in me. Let my mouth my hand speak of the words of men, for the sake of the words that will tell I get the ways that are off. Set my footsteps in thy paths, and my steps may not be shaken. I have cried, for thou hast hearkened unto me, O God, and find thy new ear unto me, and hearken unto my words. Let thy mercy be made wonderful, O God, and save us them that open me. From them thy words is thy right hand, keep me, O Lord, and behalf of thine own. In the shelter of thy wings, will thou shelter me from the face of the ungodly which have oppressed me? Mine enemies have surrounded my soul, they have clothed themselves with their own path of us and spoken pride. They have cast me out of the mountains, circled me, they have set their eyes and looked askance on the earth. They have taken me as by the light of their joys, granted as by the light of all to dwell in the night. Arise, O Lord, overtake me, and take 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 me, we have set ourselves in the souls of one and our last of our midst of days. For as for me, in righteousness shall I appear before thy gates. I shall be filled with thy glory, as made manifest through me. Under thee, O Lord, I will lift up my soul, O my God, and thee, O I trust in. I've been a rip, put to shame, while let my hand be black and scorn. Be let down my view, and be put to shame, let them be ashamed to draw all those without a God. Make thy way, O Lord, and unto me, and teach me thy path. Leave me in thy truth, and teach me that I have God my Savior, for I can have a way to love the day alone. Remember thy compassion, the Lord, and the mercies for there from everlasting. The sins of my youth and my name, which is one of the law, according to thy mercy, remember thy name, for the sake of thy goodness, O Lord. Good in our prayers, O Lord, therefore, will he send law for them and send away. He will guide the king in judgment, he will teach the meek his ways. All the ways of the Lord are mercy and truth unto them, and seek after his God and his testimonies. For the sake of thy name, O Lord, who wish us unto my sin, for it is great. Who is the man that feareth the Lord, who will send a law and the way which he had chosen? The soul shall dwell among the things that seek shall inherit the earth. The Lord is the strength of them and fear, and his covenant shall be then tested unto them. Mine eyes are for the Lord, for he is the Lord, drawing the feet of his neck. The blood may have no sin, and for I am one only for God and for the afflictions of my heart are multiplied with me after my necessities. For all that Lord is my trouble, forgive all my sins. Look upon my enemies, for they are multiplied with the unjust hatred of the hate of me. You might fall next to me, let me not be put to shame, for I have broken you. He has sent me up right into the deep, I will not be a holy. Your name is your Lord God, for all his affliction. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, according to the multitude of thy compassion, the love of my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my iniquity, and my sin is ever before me. Against the only of my sins, and I am considered before thee, that thou wilt justify me, and I will be from my own own child. For with all those contained in iniquities, and his sins my mother bear me. For all those thou shalt be with his iniquities, and his liberty. I shall speak of it as if I shall remain clean. I shall wash me and I shall remain white as snow. I shall make the dear joy of that as the most that be humble they show joys. For that day is away from my sins and love all my enemies. Create me in the heart of God and in the right spirit for me. Cast me not away from my presence and give me the Holy Spirit for me. Restore me to the joy of my salvation and the good of my spirit establishment. I shall teach you not to listen to thy ways and any other listen back at thee. Deliver me from love and goodness to God to God of my salvation and my time to the rest of my righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt be my love, and my love, and thy grace. Yet thou shalt be my sacrifice, and thy gift is full of knowledge, and thou shalt not be pleased. I sacrifice, and thou shalt be broken, 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 and thou sh
Christ, for the salvation of our race, and by his precious cross, takes care of us under the hand of our sins, and thereby gives triumph over the principalities and powers of darkness. Do thou, thy suffer, master, lover of mankind, accept also from our sinners these prayers of thanksgiving and entreaty, and deliver us from every destructive and dark transgression from all enemies, both visible and invisible, that seek to do us evil. Nail down our flesh with the fear of the enemy, blind not our hearts with the words or thoughts of evil, but pierce our souls with longing to thee, so that ever will be to thee, and be guided by thy light. As we behold thee, the unapproachable and everlasting light, Stand up unceasing praise and thanksgiving unto thee, the unoriginate Father, with thy only begotten Son, and my whole holy and Lord and thy free spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Oh, Father, the Son, Holy Spirit, now and ever, and 
hearts and in the fear of God is revealed. Let us pray to the Lord. Most Holy Patriarch Kirill, for our Lord, the very most Reverend Metropolitan Nicholas First Hierarch of the Russian Church abroad, for the honorable priests of the Agony of Christ, for all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the God preserve Russian land, its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and the diaspora, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy.
But as my beloved sons, I warn you, for though he has ten thousand instructors in Christ, yet have ye not many fathers. For in Christ Jesus I have begotten you through the gospel. Wherefore I beseech you, be followers of me, as I am of Christ. Ye brethren, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and love. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another. Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law.
The Lord said to his disciples, All things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son but the Father, neither knoweth any man the Father save the Son, and he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my soak is e for my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. And to thy spirit. Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say. O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee, hark and have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, hark and have mercy. Have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Again, we pray for our great Lord and Father, the Most Holy Patriarch Kirill, and for our Lord, the very Most Reverend Metropolitan Nicholas, First Hierarch of the Russian Church Abroad, and for all our brethren in Christ. Again, we pray for this land, its authorities, and armed forces, and for all who with faith and piety dwell therein, and for the God-preserved Russian land and its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and in the diaspora, and for their salvation. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord. Again, we pray to the Lord our God that he may deliver his people from enemies, visible and invisible, and confirm in us oneness of mind, brotherly love Lord, and piety. Again, we pray for our brethren, the priests, priests, monks, and all our brethren in Christ. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable Holy Orthodox Patriarchs, for pious kings and right believing queens, and for the founders of this holy temple, and for all our fathers and brethren gone to the rest before us, and the Orthodox here and everywhere they bless. of souls and bodies with compunction and broken hearts we fall down before thee and groaning we cry unto thee heal the sickness his heal the passions of the soul and body thy servants the archpriest david and the archpriest seraphim protodeacon leonid modesca maria modesca joanna Cassenia, maria holden sophia hope nina adrian mary lydia tamara john nina lubov nicholas dimitri innocent Lydia, Nia, George, Ludmila, Nicholas, Andrew, Genevieve, Anna, Anna, Daniel, Yelena, Suzanne, Josephine, and Olga, and pardon them all their transgressions, both kind, uh, all their both voluntary and involuntary, and quickly raise them up again from the bed of sickness. We pray thee, hearken and have mercy.
Again, we pray for those who are being persecuted for their faith, especially the Christian faithful of Ukraine and across the Middle East, that the Lord God will send down upon them every spiritual weapon to endure their tribulations, and that he will grant that peace which passes all understanding upon the region and throughout the whole world is a foretaste of his heavenly kingdom. Again, we pray thee, our Lord and Savior, and preserve the Orthodox Church throughout this entire world in unity and right belief, granting her peace and tranquility, love and harmony. Let us all say, Lord, hearken Lord, and have mercy. Again, we pray thee, look down upon the Holy Orthodox Church with compassion and mercy, and preserve her from division and schism, from enmity and disorder. Grant that her unity be not diminished nor shaken, but that thy thrice holy name be ever glorified within her. Let us all say, Lord, hearken and have mercy. Again, we pray for them that bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for them that minister and them that chant, and for all the people here present, who wait thy great and abundant Lord, mercy. Have mercy, Lord, have mercy Catechumens depart. Let none of the catechumens remain, as many as are the faithful. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy in us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace.
and our Lord, the very most Reverend Nicholas, Metropolitan of Eastern America, New York, first hierarch of the Russian Church abroad, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and after the ages of ages. This land of the Thoris and armed forces, those whom faith and piety dwell herein, the God preserved Russian land and Orthodox people, both in the homeland that he asked for, may the Lord God remember his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and after the ages of ages. Metropolitan in Ukraine and Metropolitan Pavel, all those suffering in Ukraine, all those, all, all those faithful who are suffering in Ukraine, may the Lord God remember his kingdom. Always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. The clergy, the monastics, and all those, all those who are persecuted and suffer for the Orthodox faith, the founders, the benefactors, the parishioners of this holy temple, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom. Always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. The aged, the infirm, those who are bedridden, those who are in mental institutions, those who are in prison, those who are homeless, those who are absent with cause, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom. Always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, the new and orthodox Christians, may the Lord God remember his kingdom. Always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Take a pretty action, may the Lord God remember his kingdom. Always, now and ever. Let us commit ourselves to one another in our life and to Christ our God. Through the compassion of the 
God and Son with whom thou art blessed, together thou holy and good in thy free spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Peace be unto all. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess.
Jerusalem, our Father, the Lord, Church abroad, and to the grand of thy holy church, and peace, safety, honor, and health, and life today, rightly dividing the word of thy truth. Necessity, let us pray Lord, to the Lord. Mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, Lord, by thy grace. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. Peace, a faithful guide, the guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us ask of the Lord. Things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the great judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Having asked for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our God. Glory, Lord. Thou save us, O Master, that was boldness and without condemnation, you may dare to call upon me, family God his Father, and to say. Most holy and good and living spirit, 
firing up my team job. Do I have to go to the first time? Who does want to see the line of the world? And I don't know how much I'm saying if you want to do it, I'm going to play the spiritual world. Thy eyes have seen, and in thy book even things 
not yet accomplished are written by thee. See my lowliness, see my toil, how great it is, and all my sins take from me, O God of all, that with a pure heart, a trembling mind, and a contrite soul, I may partake of thy spotless and most holy mysteries, by which all that eat and drink in purity of heart are quickened and deified. For thou, O my master, hast said, Everyone that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood abideth in me, and I in him. True is every word of my master and God, for whosoever partaketh of the divine and deifying grace is no more alone, but with thee, my Christ, the three sun light that enlighteneth the world. And that I may not remain alone without thee, the light giver, my breath, my life, my rejoicing, the salvation of the world. Wherefore have I drawn nigh to thee as thou seest with tears and with a contrite soul? O ransom of mine offenses, I ask thee to receive me, that I may partake without condemnation of thy life giving and perfect mysteries, that thou mayest remain as thou hast said with me, a wretched, a thrice wretched one, lest the deceiver, finding me without thy grace, craftily seize me, and having beguiled me, draw me away from thy divine words. Wherefore I fall down before thee, and firmly cry unto thee, as thou didst receive the prodigal, and the sinful woman who drew near, so receive me, the prodigal and propagator, compassionate one. With contrite soul I now come to thee. I know, O Savior, that none other hath sinned against thee as have I, nor hath brought the deeds that I have done. But this again I know that neither the magnitude of mine offenses, nor the multitude of my sins surpasseth the abundant long suffering of my God, and his exceeding love for mankind. But with sympathetic mercy thou dost purify and illumine them that fervently repent, and makest them partake of the mind, shares of thy divinity without sin, and strange to angels unto the minds of men, thou conversest with them oft times as with thy true friends. These things make me bold, these things give me wings, O Christ, and take me courage from thy from the wealth of thy benefactions to us, rejoicing and trembling at once, I partake of fire, I then am grass, and strange wonder, I am bedewed without being consumed, as the bush of old burned without being consumed. And now with thankful mind and grateful heart, with thankfulness in my members, my soul and my body, I worship and magnify and glorify thee, my God, for blessed art thou both now and unto the ages. O God, whose remit and pardon me my transgressions, wherein I have sinned against thee, whether by word, deed, or thought, voluntarily or involuntarily, consciously or unconsciously, forgive me all, for thou art good and the lover of mankind, and through the intercessions of thy most pure mother, thy noetic ministers and holy hosts, and all the saints who from the ages have been pleasing unto thee, deign to allow me without condemnation to receive thy holy and immaculate body and precious blood unto the healing of soul and body and unto the purification of my evil thoughts. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages of men. I am not sufficient, O Master and Lord, that thou shouldst enter unto the roof of my soul, but if thou dost will as the lover of mankind to dwell in me, I dare to approach thee. Thou commandest, I shall open the doors which thou alone didst create, that thou mayest enter with thy love for mankind, as is thy nature, that thou mayest enter and enlighten my darkened thought. I believe that thou wilt do this, for thou didst not drive away the sinful woman when she came unto thee with tears, neither didst thou reject the public in repent, nor didst thou spurn the thief who acknowledged thy kingdom, but with sympathetic mercy thou dost glorify and illumine them that perfectly repent. But all on that. Yeah. In the fear of God and with faith and love draw near. So strong a bond you if you are if you follow the priest to Peter.
I believe, O Lord, and I confess, Thou art truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. Moreover, I believe that this is truly in most of your body, and this is truly in own precious blood. Wherefore, I pray thee, have mercy on me, and forgive me my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, whether in word or in deed, in knowledge or in ignorance, and thou save me to partake without condemnation of thy most pure mystery, under the mission of my sins, life everlasting. Amen. Of thy mystery will suffer, O Son of God, receive me today as a communicant, for I will not seek the mystery to thine enemies, nor will I give thee a kiss as to Judas, for like a thief do I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in my kingdom. Will not the communion most pure mysteries be unto me for judgment or condemnation, O Lord, but in the healing of soul and body. Amen.
save, O God, thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Lord God, may our 
Oh God, I bow to our thanks unto the deed you set for it, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. to be back with you all after having been away several weeks. So I am glad to be able to stand before you and to share with you a few thoughts on the scripture readings and the, of course, the season that we are about to, about to enter into. We heard in today's gospel reading from Matthew about prayer and fasting, how powerful it is, how necessary it is. And it seems very appropriate to hear this today as we are about to enter into a Dormition fast. And so I bring this to your attention, not only for that reason, but also, but, well, primarily for that reason, in the fact that why we are fasting. Why do we fast at all? We fast to enable prayer. It is a means by which we can pray and draw closer to our Lord for us to purify our souls of all that uncleanness, of that filth that we've accumulated. And as we, and we, can, as we can see in the Gospel, in today's Gospel, our Lord speaking to the Apostles and sharing with them how important this is, how important that this is needed to drive away the demons, to keep, keep their filth out of, out of our minds, out of our hearts. That we need to go ahead and endure this, endure this fast and others, and the others that we have throughout the year. And so we need to keep this in mind as we entering into this fast, that it is for our spiritual benefit. It is not to be taken as, it is not to be taken as a burden, in the sense that Oh, we cannot go ahead and have, enjoy cookouts like we were 
you know, during part of the summer, or indulging in other foods that we perhaps have become used to during the summer season. But it is important that we try to keep this fast as others for our own spiritual benefit. For the Lord appoints this, the Lord, the Lord has given this to us, to the church, for us to devote this time to increase our prayer through fasting, that fasting may help us to become lighter in both mind and body and not be weighed down as we are trying to as we are trying to prepare ourselves as the Holy, Most Holy Theotokos was preparing herself and so this brings me to as I said Most Holy Theotokos preparing for her repose and also in the gospel we heard about our Lord speaking about death as well his death on the cross and so it is a reminder for us it should remind us what our Lord has accomplished for us for all of us our Lord has overcome death he has defeated death he has made it of no importance to us as Orthodox Christians we no longer have to fear death it is just a transition it is just something it is yes it is something that we must endure all of us because all of us will die someday and thus it does behoove us it does benefit us to be praying and to be preparing for that day. Most Holy Theotokos was preparing because she knew that she still was born of man and that she and of course we would think that what fear would she have or what concern would she have but she was looking to her son to show her mercy and of course we know what happened in two weeks we will be celebrating that glorious second Pascha of sorts where our Lord himself receives her into his arms fully resurrected and that resurrection awaits us all at the Lord's second coming at his, when he will come again to judge the earth And so all of this, dear brothers and sisters, requires faith. In the Holy Gospel reading, we also heard about our Lord speaking to the apostles about their unbelief, but their lack of faith. And we must have that strong faith, that firm faith, that our Lord will not abandon us what our Lord has taught us through the Gospels, through the teachings of the Holy Fathers of the Church, that we must have that faith. And with such faith, with such faith we can accomplish many, many miracles. The Holy Apostles, with their faith, were able to raise the dead. So just not move mountains. Of course, moving a mountain, of course, would be wondrous, of course, but bringing someone back from the dead is even more wondrous. And so we too, dear brothers and sisters, must cultivate, must strengthen that faith. Strengthen that faith that our labors, our sacrifices that we make with our fasting, with our prayers, will come, will benefit us, will draw us closer to our Lord. So let us enter into the, this holy fast with that faith. Let us prepare ourselves and rejoice with all the apostles and the, and the saints 
at our Lord's receiving the Most Holy Theotokos at her holy demission. The blessed Lord be upon you through his grace and love for mankind always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Christ, our true God, who rose from the dead, be in the sense of the Lord, your the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Holy the Holy Spirit, and all praise apostles, and the saints whose memory we celebrate this day, the righteous, Jesus, the Joseph, the Joseph, the Joseph, the righteous, the Jesus, judge in Israel, the righteous, Joseph, of Arimathea, part of the angels, the Israel, the Saint Germanus, the Bishop of Arsene, the Lord, 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 the Bishop of Tina, Tunica, Georgia, Martin, the Jesus of Apathy, Mount Apples, the New Martyrs, the New Harbors, the New Harbors, the Benjamin, the Metropolitan, the Metrograph, and those with him are Patrick, the Urgent, the George, the John of Metrograph, the New Martyr Maximus, the New Harbors, the Adding of the Priest, the New Harbors, John the Priest, Martyr Thompson, the Priest, the Virgin Martyr, the Hamlet, and Elizabeth. Of the new heart martyr, Nicholas the Priest, and the new heart martyr, the new heart martyr, Basil, the Bishop of Tunisia. Of our Father among the Saints, John Archbishop of Shanghai, Sympathist of the Wonder Worker, and of our Father among the Saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, and the Holy Righteous Answer to God, what you may not have all the Saints, have mercy in us and save us, for He is good, love us, and glory. Amen. Our great Lord and Father, hear the most holy name, the most holy name. Congratulations to all to all who protect the holy ministries. We will be re we will be reading the prayers of Thanksgiving after communion after you venerate the cross or while you're venerating the cross. So I ask you to please let all those who protect the holy ministries to please remain and listen to the prayers attentively. Uh, we have a number of announcements. Thank you, Father. So we have a number of announcements for today. And just I had it, so gotta love it. Gotta love technology. All right. So, a first thing I would like to say is that we um, we welcome Father Brother Deacon Andre from from Holy Trinity Monastery in Jordanville, and he is here to give us a presentation during Trapeza. And uh, I'd like him just to go ahead and say just a few words. You also, and I would also like us to have. We're also going to have a basket here that would like to go ahead. And have a collection for this project. So, Father Damien, uh, brothers clergy, uh, brothers Christians, greetings in the Lord. 
uh, on Lord's Day. So uh, this August, uh, I started a project uh, which is uh, daily pieces of information about this day's event in the history and theology of the Orthodox Church. So it's going to be a long run, it's going to be like a marathon for 365 days. So, and uh, if you can support this, uh, and it will be available for three dollars, so everyone could subscribe. Uh, and it's going to be reflections on Byzantine history, on rocker history, bite size, for basically busy people who can read it. And uh, I'm going to use my education, which is in church history, so, uh, and I teach uh, Russian church history canon law, so and I, my idea of fun to make this available to lay people in plain language. So if you could, could support the continuation of this project, so that we can go for three, 365 days, God willing, so I will be extremely grateful to your generosity. Thank you. Thank you, Father. So if we could please have that basket come forward. Gia? Oh, you have it. Okay, sorry. My apologies. All right. So for other announcements that we have, um, all interested St. John's, St. John's parishioners are invited to attend the next Bazaar planning meeting. Uh, so these meetings have been running, have been actually occurring for several months now on Mondays e Monday evenings at 7... At 7.30, uh, oh, this one is actually going to be from 7.30 to 9.30 via Zoom, so please attend what you can. Uh, there will be a lot of information that will be passed out to let you know where things are at with this year's bazaar. Uh, the goal of the bazaar, uh, as some of you may not know, to is to raise funds for benevolent causes such as to support refugees and victims of the war in Ukraine, feed and clothe the poor and homeless in D.C., help parishioners in crisis, benefit our church's mission in the Holy Land in Haiti, and much more. Uh, the agenda items for this, for this meeting include logistics and setup, so it includes the tents. So as you, some of you remember, the many tents that we have for the bazaar uh, to give us uh, protection from the weather. Um, takes, a bit of, takes a bit of coordination and planning. Uh, sponsorship and marketing. We have entertainment, uh, volunteers, and other action items such as bake sale, books, vintage jewelry, uh, and so there's a number of things that will be discussed at this meeting. So I highly encourage you all to please tune in, to listen as to what is being discussed, to offer your suggestions, uh, because this is your bazaar. This is not just the people who are planning it. This is not the, just the church's bazaar. This is a bazaar for all of us. Uh, this benefits us all. Um, and so I ask you to please share your ideas uh, with the planners. Uh, it's very important that they hear from you. Uh, and, and it's an opportunity for you to become more involved in, and to help shape the bazaar and to incorporate things that perhaps have, that you think need to be, that have not been present in years past. Sorry, my thumb keeps on tapping on things that shouldn't be. So God willing, Father Victor and Matushka will be returning from France on August 17th, so please keep them in your prayers that they return safely and healthy. Um, and speaking of healthy, I ask you to please keep praying for Father David, who is ill. Uh, I'm not sh hopefully he will be back by next weekend, but um, he is going to be needing time to recover. So please keep him in your prayers that he makes it a quick, that he makes a quick and speedy recovery. And as I mentioned earlier with the Domitia Fast, the rules for fasting are in Parish Life in the August edition. Tomorrow evening, uh, this evening we have Vespers and Matins with the bringing out of the life-giving cross of the Lord with tomorrow morning at Workday Liturgy, so 6.40 a.m. We have Hours Liturgy and the Lesser Blessing of Waters at 6.40 a.m. Celebrating the procession of the precious wood life-giving cross of the Lord. Tuesday we have Slavonic Choir Rehearsal at 7 p.m. Friday evening, we have vigil at 6.30 p.m. And which mean, and we have vigil because we are celebrating, we are celebrating Holy Transfig the Transfiguration of our Lord. 
So the transfiguration, yes, transfiguration is where our Lord ascended Mount Tabor and was transfigured before the holy, the holy apostles. And so we will be celebrating that. That, that liturgy is celebrated at 8.40 a.m. on Saturday, August 19th. And of course, then a regular service schedule for uh, Saturday evening and Sunday morning. So I ask you to please uh, attend these services. Uh, and as I said before, to please, uh, if you have any questions about the fast, about the rules, please see one of us. Um, until Father Victor returns, it is, you know, Father Alexander and I, so, but we are here to serve, and we're here to take your questions, and to, and to, um, as I said, to tend to your needs. So, please, uh, with that, please come and venerate the cross, and listen to the thanks prayers of thanksgiving. I thank thee, O Lord, my God, that thou hast not rejected me a sinner, but hast vouchsafed me a communicant of thy holy things. I thank thee that thou hast vouchsafed me the unworthy to partake of thy most pure and heavenly gifts. But O master, lover of mankind, for our sakes, to die and rise again and dispel on us the red and life creating mysteries for the well being and sanctification of our souls and bodies. Grant that they may be unto me for the healing of both soul and body, for the averting of everything hostile, for the enlightenment of the eyes of my heart, for the peace of the powers of my soul, for faith unashamed, for love unfeigned, for the fullness of wisdom, for the keeping of thy commandments, for an increase of the divine grace, and for the attainment of thy kingdom. That being preserved by them in thy holiness, I may remember thy grace always and no longer live for myself, but for thee, our master and benefactor. And thus, when I shall have departed this life in hope of life eternal, I may attain unto everlasting rest, where the sound of them that keeps the festival is unceasing, and the light is unendless of them that behold the ineffable beauty that counts. For thou art the true desire of the unedible and of them that love thee, O Christ our God, and all creation is him the unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Master Christ, our God, King of all ages and Creator of all things, I thank thee for all the good things that was bestowed upon me and for the communion of the most pure life and praying mysteries. I pray thee, therefore, O good one and lover of mankind, keep me under the protection and the shadow of thy wings, and grant me even unto my very last breath to partake worthily without a pure conscience of thy holy things and the remission of sins and life eternal. For thou art the bread of life, the source of holiness, and the giver of good things. Unto thee do we send glory together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O thou who gives me willingly in thy flesh is food, thou who art fire that this consume the unworthy, well, let me not be scorched on my creator, but rather enter thou in my members into all my joints, my reins, my hearts, burn up the thorns of all my sins, purify my soul, sanctify my thoughts, strengthen my senses together with my bones, and lighten my simple five senses, nail down the whole of me with the fear of thee, ever protect, preserve, and keep me from every soul corrupting deed and word, purify, cleanse, and adorn me, make me comely, give me understanding, and enlighten me. Show me to be the dwelling place of thy spirit alone, and no longer a habitation of sin, that from me is thine abode, thou through the entry of communion every evil doer, every passion may flee as from a fire. As intercessor, I offer unto thee all the saints, the commanders of the body of this post, the forerunner of the wise apostles, and of your mother, whose entreaties thou dost accept. O oh, my compassionate Christ, and make me thy servant, a child of light. For thou alone art sanctification, O good one, and the radiance of our souls, and unto thee is God, and Master, we all sit in glory as this meet every day. O oh, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, may thy holy body be unto me for life eternal, and thy precious blood for the remission of sins. And may this Eucharist be unto me for joy, health, and gladness, and at the dread second coming, God save me a sinner, to stand at thy right hand in the glory through the intercession of thy most pure mother of all the saints. O oh, most holy lady Theotokos, light of my dark and soul, my hope, correction, refuge, consolation, my joy. I thank thee that thou hast vouchsafed me, who am worthy to be a partaker of the most pure body and precious blood of thy Son. O thou who givest birth to the true light, do thou enlighten the spiritual eyes of my heart. Thou who givest birth to the source of immortality, revive me who am dead in sin. Thou who art the loving, compassionate mother of the merciful God, have mercy on me and grant me compunction and contrition of my heart and humility of my thoughts and the recall of my thoughts from captivity and vouchsafe me unto my very last breath to receive without condemnation the sanctification of the most pure mysteries for the healing of soul and body and grant me tears of repentance and confession that I may him and glorify thee all the days of my life. For blessed and most glorified are thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Now let's thou thy servant depart in peace, O Master, according to thy word. For thy eyes have seen the salvation which thou hast for people, a light of the revolution for the Gentiles and the glory of thy people, Israel. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O oh, most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, blotted out of the iniquities of all partner and sins. O holy one, visit and heal our permits for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Grace shining forth from thy mouth like a beacon has enlightened the universe and disclosed to the world treasures of a covenant and shown us the heights of humility. But while instructing by thy words, O Father, don't cross them. Intercede with the word, Christ our God, to save our souls. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. From the heavens hast thou received divine grace, and by thy lips says thou teach all to worship the one true God in Trinity. O John, because all blessed righteous one, rightly do we acclaim thee, for thou art a teacher revealing divine things, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O protection of Christians that cannot be put to shame, O mediation unto the Creator, unfailing to stay not the supplicant voice of sinners, but be thou quick, O good one, to help us who in faith cry unto thee, hasten to intercession, and speed thou to make supplication, thou who dost ever protect us, O Theotokos, them that honor thee. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave his birth to God the Word. The very thing took us thee, do we magnify. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Father bless. Have mercy, us and save us, for you is good, love us, and for us. Amen.